Appreciate what you have today. You may not have it tomorrow. What up, Internet world? It's your boy, Jermaine, back with another video. This video, let's just jump right into it. Guys, appreciate what you have today. You may not have a lot, but still appreciate what you have today. You may live in Texas. You may live in St. Louis. You might live in Chicago. And you might wake up, walk out to your car, right? You barely got enough gas in your car. You get in your car, it's 100 degrees outside, right? You start driving, you're doing the 440. You know what the 440 is? It's when you're driving your car, you're going 40 miles an hour and you got your windows down because your air conditioner don't work. And all of a sudden you're driving and you hit traffic, right? And as you're hitting this traffic, you look over and you see this next person in this car across from you and they sitting in a brand new BMW, brand new. You know, you look at them, they got their earrings in their ear, they got their chain on, you see the air conditioning blowing their hair, they got their windows up, they just chilling, right? And you sitting back thinking, man, I want that car, I want that, I want this, I want that. And I just want to say something here. Just appreciate what you have. Just appreciate what you have. Earlier this morning, I went to Starbucks, right? And it was a normal experience. I just went there, ordered coffee, got my coffee, sat down. But there's a lot of people that are unable to do this. If you look at the country, Ukraine, remember what I said, appreciate what you have? The person driving the BMW, the person in the, the Toyota with the windows rolled down. What about the people in Ukraine? You know, a lot of those people only wish that they could just have their country. They would just wish that they could go and go to their favorite shops and go to their favorite places around town, but they're unable to do it because their country's destroyed. And this is why I say it's very important to appreciate what you have. You know, I may be upset and I may be driving an old Toyota Corolla, but you know what? I'm driving, right? I'm getting from point A to point B, right? I can move up, you know, I could, I could easily get another car, right? A lot of people are in a situation where they can't do that, yo. Like they literally can't do that, right? I know people that live in certain countries around the world, like there are just not a lot of jobs. Like if they, if they, if, if a job was there, they would take it, they would do it, yo. They would work their job all day. But a lot of places, man, jobs just aren't there. And I totally get it. I come back home and people say, oh, I just hate this job. I just hate this job. I just hate this job. You know, I'm working for Amazon. I'm delivering these packages. I just hate this job. I just hate this job. Sometimes you gotta be thankful for that job. You have to be thankful for that job. You have to say, yo, I'm, I'm happy I got this job because I could be unemployed, right? I could be looking for a job. You know how stressful it is to be looking for a job, right? Especially you looking for a job and you don't, you don't even have your bills covered. You know how extremely stressful that is? And this is why I say appreciate what you have. Appreciate what you have. You may look over and see another person and you may say, man, I want what they got, right? but just appreciate what you have because you never know the sacrifice they did to get what they got. You never know what, what they did in their life to, to, to get what they got. Maybe they did something really bad, right? Maybe they did something really good. Maybe they spent 20 years in university studying, right? I mean, I don't know, do you wanna spend 20 years studying? Right, you wanna be a doctor, right? You wanna be a lawyer? Some people do, I'm, I'm not knocking it, some people do. But at the end of the day, it's up to you and it's very, very important that you appreciate what you have today because you never know. You never know. You may live in that apartment and you may say, I hate this apartment. I really want to leave. I hate this apartment. And you never know. You might come back the next day and they might say, look, we just sold a building and we're going to tear down the building and y'all got two months to move out. Right. You never know. You got to appreciate what you got. You know, you got to appreciate that broke down car you got when you know you ain't got another car. Because guess what? How else are you going to get to work? How else are you going to survive? You got to appreciate what you got, yo. Very, very important. Appreciate what you got, yo. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.